Nothing but mountains. We've had it. We've, we've completely had it. I can't. I'm not as strong as you. What's happening, everyone? Cabin Fever 18 can't be having these Gaines goblins spewing their weak-willed opinions around these parts. It has been incredibly harsh over the holidays in terms of both scheduling as well as weather conditions, but hanging in there, doing awesome, loving it, and really enjoying the little Mega Man arm that keeps me nice and toasty in the garage. What you're seeing here, some squats, some bench, some deadlift from yesterday. This was after a little bit of activities. You'll see at the end. And uh, wasn't exactly fresh, but still had to come in, train, wanted to work up to 405 on a squat through the belt on just because I was a little bit fatigued, wanted to be sure I could make this absolutely perfect and I think here this last pause squat pretty good and uh, you know there even on the way up wasn't trying to go as fast as I possibly could because you know just got to regulate that speed right now the control factor at that weight isn't there and if I want to move safely got to make sure I'm only moving as fast as I can control that 405 especially out of that hole don't want to fire up and get out of position with 405 on my back so squats going quite good. All the supra, supra, supra submaximal work has really helped out. What you're seeing here, 10 singles. You might, you might not see 10, but I did 10 singles with just 405, nothing too heavy. But this is a weight where I can put it on the bar, dial in my setup, dial in my technique. And I've talked about this before, turning all of your lifts into a checklist. That way the only variable you got to worry about is how many reps you're doing, how much weight is on the ball. So if you got yourself a checklist that's really dialed in, it's going to be a pretty awesome thing to have in your toolbox as a lifter because it just makes you ultimately consistent. You know what wickets you got to hit before you start putting some energy into that bar. When you do put energy into it, it's not just wasted through inefficiency, your movement pattern, your positioning, anything like that. So doing singles, like what I'm doing here with my deadlift, beltless is helping me dial in all of these little nuances that actually matter. And it's a very popular thing during intermediate lifting times. You're closing in on maybe that four plate squat and uh, for the first time ever, and you're pretty excited about it. And so you let that form slide that whole idea that, you know, it's okay to have shitty form if you're lifting heavy weights, you know, to an extent. I'm not going to completely disregard that element of it. I mean, there are some things where a little bit of body English is going to help out, i.e. curls. Got to be doing them shits, but you don't want to do that on deadlifts. So, killing the deadlifts. I was having a great time doing all these singles, dialing everything in. You'll see the consistency that I'm building refining my checklist as in doing these pulls and I finish it off with an AMRAP at the end and this all done without chalk. So you've been seeing me use a whole lot of straps lately. I'm still using straps very often and uh, on that front making some good headway it did take a bit of a slowdown over the holidays unfortunately but everyone's still getting the straps out so thank you for your patience. They're not really not uh, hampering the grip. That's the good news. I've been using the overkill straps for quite some time, and due to their thinness, uh, you know, it's on a deadlift bar, it's like grabbing a normal bar. And I only use one wrap around, and it's awesome. As you can see, grip strength is really not a factor right now. Not, not too worried about it. Granted, it's only 405, but no chalk. You know, I could have easily done many, 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 many more reps. Called it there because guess what? Today, I had to go in and train some more. Didn't want to kill myself. So I stopped at five on the AMRAP, moved on to the bench press where I wanted to find a, a decent paused five rep max. That's 285 on the bar there. 
worked up, found those last one. I was like, all right, I could probably push this for six, seven reps total. Might as well just make the pause a wee bit longer. So that's what I did with 285. Bench feeling really good. There's so much room left in my tank right now. And I'm just training to maintain recovery, gradually, gradually, gradually build this work capacity, make sure my recovery that is there dropped from 285 to this 225. Eight sets of three, last set AMRAP, what you're seeing here. You saw the first, you saw the last. This is the last set after a freaking whole long workout and that 225 is still moving quick. So I'm quite excited for the way training's going. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you like this one. Be sure to check out some of the gainer too. That thing is kick ass. Please subscribe. We're gonna die, you know. Baby. But if we die, we're gonna die walking.